something's changed. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but um, I miss my mom's team. It's 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 mind blow. I I I can't even believe it. I swear to God, I'm still in shock. I I don't even know what's happening right now. <laughs> so today is what's the date today? Today is April twenty second, Saturday. So let's get right into the video. Hi everybody, I am officially, first time saying it, your Miss Vermont's Teen 2023. And I'm super excited to get this year started. So my name is Ginger Regacious, Miss Vermont's Teen 2023. Okay, let's just go through the competition. So let's go through thought process. Let's go through everything that happened last weekend. I was very nervous for my interview. Uh, interview is definitely my strongest portion of competition ask any one of the people that have done my mock interviews I'm very strong in in interview um and I was very nervous and I walk in and they are very nice people when I started talking they were very nice they were very nice to talk to and they really liked my jokes um so that was I, after I came out of the interview I was like man that went really really well um and I felt strong about it. I felt really good about it. And I was like, great, this is great. We're off to the right start. And then we had rehearsal and everything. And the whole time I was thinking, I was thinking, you know, would it be nice if I won? Yeah, it would. Is it okay if I don't? Yeah, it's okay, you know? Um, but anyways, I'm a junior in high school right now. So I was also putting that into like my I was putting that into my thought process as well because I was like oh like if I don't win this year I'm probably not going to compete next year because it's just going to be really hard to be if I win next year Miss Vermont's teen and live in a different state you know what I mean we did rehearsal and everything and then Sunday it was the show right and I thought I thought to myself there could be a possibility 24 hours no for less than 24 hours from now I could be Miss Vermont's teen is it likely? I don't know. I mean, I have, there are, I'm competing against not eight other girls, right? So you do the math. I don't know what percentage that, that is. Um, but you know, I was, I was okay. Was I nervous for the show? Of course I was. I mean, of course I was. I mean, if you were in that position, you'd be nervous too. Um, but I was very, I was very excited. And we did opening number. I was like, great, off to a good start. I knew the dance. <laughs> um, I said my title, Miss Southern Vermont's Teen. Um, and then we did onstage question and I, I rocked my onstage question. After I did my onstage question, my mom was sitting in the audience and I texted my mom like, mom, how is my answer? And she was like, that was freaking amazing. You were on fire. And I was like, good, I'm glad, right? So that was, I was actually fortunate enough to be like that after every single phase of competition. I was crushing it. I mean, I thought I was crushing it and I think that's a good mindset. After each phase of competition, whether you did well or didn't, you just have to have that mindset of, you know, it's done. Whatever happened, happened, and I just have to let it go. So hypothetically, if I did terrible in onstage question, I can just be like, you know, it already happened. There's nothing I can do about it. What's done is done. You know what I mean? So don't dwell on those portions of competition and just focus on the next two or three. So I finished onstage question. I was like, wow, that was really good. It was all about my social impact or my community service initiative. And I felt really good about it. We changed into fitness. I thought I did really well in fitness. Um, I did my push-ups. I did my little poses. And I thought it was a lot of fun. I love fitness. Um, and it was super fun to be like a little sassy version of myself, even though I am kind of sassy. Um, but then we did talent. And talent was a lot of fun. Um, I think I did really well in talent. And... After every single portion of competition, I was like, that was great. I did really well. Good hopes, you know, positive, positive vibes. And then we did evening gown and everything. And after I did evening gown, we, we were, other girls were doing evening gown. And we were getting ready to go back on stage for awards. And oh my God, I was so nervous. I, 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 I can't even tell you how nervous I was. I was like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? Either way, it's gonna be fine. And I had to keep telling myself, like, you are gonna be fine either way. You're still gonna become successful, win or lose. And I think that's super important because a lot of people think that, oh, 
I had this mentality that if I didn't win, I was, this was last year. I had this mentality that if I didn't win, I was never going to become successful. I was never going to get into college and all these different things were racing through my mind. And this past year, learning all the things that I did, I realized you're still going to be successful. This is just an extracurricular kind of, I mean, I love the Miss American organization and win or lose, I'm still going to go to college. I'm still going to pursue my acting career. Just take a deep breath. And I was like, okay, good mindset, good mindset. Success doesn't come with a crown. And we were, we were, we went on stage, right? And I was, I was standing there. We were very nervous. And this year they were going to announce the top four, which is even worse. Oh my gosh. I hate that. <laughs> Last year, they just said first runner up and winner right? And oh my gosh, this year was so, I was so nervous. Oh my gosh, I was so nervous for the top four. Anyway, so they announced awards. I got the scholarship award or the scholastic award. Um, and I got top fundraiser award, which was very fun. Um, and I got $100 from the scholastic and $100 from the, um, I just blanked on it, the fundraising award. Um, so that was really great. And then they were like, okay, we're going to announce top four. So I said, so in my mind, I was like, okay, this is it. <sighs> Take a deep breath. You're okay. Right. They announced the first girl. This was in no particular order. They announced Leah Jarvis. And I can see why. I can definitely see why. All the girls that were in the top four, I was like, oh yeah, definitely, definitely top four. Right. So they announced her, her first, right. Leah Jarvis. She goes up, she goes in like the little, the little line thing, right? Second name was my name. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in the top four. This is good, you know? And after that moment, I was like, you know what? Being second, uh, being third, second, first runner up is an accomplishment in and of itself. I thought being first runner up to Mr. Monstein, that is a great accomplishment. Being second runner up, being third runner up, whatever happened, I was like, I'm going to be a runner up or the winner. And that's okay. They called my name, right? They called the next girl's name, Zoe Bernstein. Obvious choice. I can see why, right? She goes up. We have a little moment. We do some hugs. Charlie Royer. I can see why, right? All these girls, I can see why. She goes up, right? And we're all standing there with our hands, with holding our hands. It was a very pageanty moment. So we're standing there. And this is gonna be very in depth because I it was like a um like my like the 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 brain chemistry switched like in that moment it was it was insane you don't really know what it feels like until you're actually up there and it's it's the weirdest feeling so you're standing there they called third runner up Leah Jarvis I was like okay like at this point I was thinking about myself and I was like prepare yourself like. You can do it, right? And I was like, okay. So she takes her photo with Abigail Hunter, Miss Bronstein, 2022. And they go to the side. She gets her award, she gets her, her flowers, and she goes to the side, right? And we're standing there. They called second runner up, Zoe Bernstein. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm either first runner up or winner. This is crazy. What? And so she gets her photo taken, her award, her flowers, she goes to the side, right? So then I'm holding hands with Charlie Royer, and I'm like, one of us is going to be Miss Ronstein. One of us is going to be first runner up. So we're standing there, right? And of course, the host has to have this whole explanation of what the first runner up does, right? Anyway, so in that in that, in that moment, I, I, was, I was we were talking. We were saying just like, oh my gosh, I love you. Like you're so amazing. Like whatever happens, and we we're just like whatever happens happens. Like whew, we need to breathe. Like we're we're good. We're good, right? Anyway, so then she was like, you know, if the first runner up. If the title holder cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner up takes the crown and like can replace the first runner up. I mean the, the title holder. And they said, your first runner up. Because I knew. I was like, please don't say my name. Please don't say my name. Because they were announcing the first runner up. And they said, your first runner up is. And there was a long pause. And I was like, and she said Charlie Royer's name, the other girl's name. And in that moment, I was like, oh my God, I just won. And I, I, there was a moment of like pure panic. I was hyperventilating. I was like, I, I can't even, I can't even, I can't even explain it. How reliving it is just insane to me. 
And so I was standing there and I immediately just like let go of her hands. And I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? Right. And I'm like, and I'm like holding, holding my, holding my chest. I'm like, I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, 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 I'm like, what do I do? And Alexina, Miss Vermont 2022 comes up and she hugs me. And in that moment, I'm like freaking just like out of body experience. Like my head is like lightheaded. I don't know where I am. I'm like, oh my gosh, what just happened? What just happened? What is happening? And I like kneel down. I have to fully kneel down because I'm 5'11 and Abigail Hunter's like five foot or something. So I have to like fully like squat down. She's crowning me and she's like, I'm sorry, I'm not doing this well. I'm like, it's okay. You can you can see in the video me saying it's okay. And um and Alexander crowning and putting the sash on, I'm like, oh my gosh, what is happening? And I got my flowers, I got my award, and then um I hug Abigail and Alexina's like, fix your crown, fix your crown, it's falling forward. And I was like, oh, okay. And I'm like fixing it. And Abigail's like, I'll fix it, right? And I go, and I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And it was so surreal. And I turn, once I finished my little wave moment, I turn to the wings. I turn to stage left and I see Brittany in the wings. And I'm like, Brittany, what do I do? <laughs> and she's like, come here, come here, come here. And I was like, okay. So I come to her, right? And I sit down and I'm like, oh my gosh, Brittany, what just happened? She's like, you're Miss Ron's team, 2023. And I was like, oh my gosh what the heck just happened and so she's like okay sit down on the stool because I need to fix your crown <laughs> I'm like okay so she's fixing my crown and she's and I'm like I need a tissue my nose is running so bad and she's like drying my tears and everything and like I'm like and she's like and I'm like blow my nose and I'm like what do I do with my tissue now and Caroline Bright's like here let me take it I'm a mother I got you and I was like okay thank you right and I turn around to look at the stage and first runner up well first runner up and or you know what I mean the two last girls for miss were there and I'm like oh my gosh wait I missed who the top five were and everything I now know of course thanks to social media but I was like oh my gosh like uh -huh, I need to know who wins so I'm like looking right and they call Malia Smith's name which is first runner up and I was like oh my gosh Yamuna Turco is my miss and I was like oh my gosh she's my miss and I said Brittany I want to go hug her I want to go hug her I want to go hug her and Brittany's like wait you need to wait a second there's a moment when the speaker announces something, then you go hug her. I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta wait, right? And so then she goes to hug the teens, and then the miss, the miss all hug her. I'm like, wait, no, they're hugging her. I wanna hug her, right? And I'm like, I'm like wobbling. I'm still getting used to it, okay? Um, but then she's like, okay, now I can go. And so I go, and I, I'm like, you wanna? And I, tur she turns around, and I just freaking man hug her. I bear hug her, and it was, it was great. It was a great experience. And after that, we took. A ton of photos. Oh my gosh, so many photos. My pageant coach was watching on the live stream. Um, and when I was backstage, I, when I was talking to Brittany, um, who is, for those of you that don't, don't know, she's the team coordinator. And she was, just, and I was just like, Brittany, I'm going to Miss America. She's like, you're going to Miss America's teen. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to Miss America's teen. <sighs> I'm Ginger Regatius, Miss Vermont's Teen 2023, and signing off for the first time. I can't wait to get this year started, and I can't wait to bring you all with me. So thank you all. Bye. Our final teen delegate is Ginger Regatius, who will be singing Elvis' song, If I Can Dream. Keep shining.